Hello, my name is Matthew Miller. I'm a medical student at the University of Maryland School of Medicine. Today, I'm going to be discussing my research about the impact of lower urinary tract symptoms on diuretic adherence. I have no disclosures. The funding for this project was through the University of Maryland Department of Urology. Lower urinary tract symptoms, such as frequency and stress urinary incontinence, have a significant impact on quality of life. Diuretics are an important class of medication used to treat hypertension, heart failure, and many other chronic diseases. However, diuretics have been demonstrated to cause worsening of lower urinary tract symptoms. It has been hypothesized that these symptoms may lead to decreased diuretic adherence. This hypothesis has not been tested among participants using various diuretic classes for diverse types of chronic health conditions. The purpose of this research was to test whether participants with worse urinary symptoms tend to have poor adherence to their diuretic regimen. We use researchmatch.org to identify participants meeting criteria of age greater than 18 and taking at least one diuretic. The survey collected demographic information such as race, race geographic location, smoking status, gender, age, education, and medical indication for the diuretic. To quantify urinary symptom severity, we use the uh, health-related quality of life portion of the OAVQSF four-week recall questionnaire. To assess adherence, we asked participants if they ever skipped diuretic doses due to urinary symptoms. We focused on two common symptoms, urinary frequency and stress urinary incontinence. Specifically, we asked participants if they skip diuretic doses because they're, they feel their diuretic makes them urinate more more frequently. We then asked participants if they ever experienced unintentional urine leakage when coughing, laughing, or sneezing. If they responded yes, we asked if they ever skipped diuretic doses because they felt the diuretic made their urinary leakage worse. Responses were categorized as a binary yes or no outcome. We used univariate and multivariate logistic regression to calculate the increase in odds of participants admitting to skipping doses for each decrease in quality of life score. In addition to the binary adherence variable, we used a Likert adherence scale to assess adherence. Participants were asked to, in uh, to indicate if they skipped diuretic, <clears throat> diuretic doses never, sometimes, often, or very often due to worsening, worsening urinary symptoms. We made a bar graph to show changes in rates of adherence with worsening quality of life scores. Around 4,000 participants on researchmatch.org met our inclusion criteria and were invited to participate. We received around 280 surveys. We can see here in our characteristics of the cohort, the median age was 64 and 70.4% were female. The median BMI was 31.8. Around half the participants experienced stress urinary incontinence and about one fourth of participants were taking a loop diuretic. The median uh, quality of life score was 90.8, which corresponds with mild symptoms. Uh, highlighting some differences between adherent and non-adherent groups, the an elevated BMI and smoking were associated with non-adherence. Uh, taking a loop diuretic and experiencing stress urinary incontinence were also associated with non-adherence. On the other hand, having further education beyond college was associated with better adherence. The quality of life scores were significantly lower among non-adherent participants compared to adherent participants. Table two shows the result of our logistic regressions. We found in the unadjusted models an odds ratio of 1.035 for non-adherence due to urinary frequency and an odds ratio of 1.073 for non-adherence due to worsening stress urinary incontinence. These rate, odds ratios were statistically significant and remain significant after adjustment in multivariate models. In the bar graph showing responses to our Likert adherence measure, we found worsening adherence rates with lower quality of life scores. We can see that as quality of life scores decrease, an increasing proportion of participants admit to more frequently skipping doses. In conclusion, this study found for every decrease in quality of life score, uh, there was an associated 3.5% increase in likelihood of skipping diuretic doses due to worsening urinary frequency and a 7.3% increase in likelihood of admitting to skipping diuretic doses due to worsening stress urinary incontinence. These results support our hypothesis that more severe urinary symptoms are associated with poorer diuretic adherence. This is the first study to examine the relationship of urinary symptoms and diuretic adherence in participants with a variety of chronic diseases. Thank you for your time and please reach out in the forum with any comments or questions.